What's up guys? I'm going to teach you how to play Breathe, an acoustic interpretation. I'm going to be pretty much loyal to the track, give you a couple of like, hey, here's an easier way to play this chord, or here's an alternate way to play this chord on certain items, certain chords we're going to be hitting. Other than that, it's going to sound great. Stick around. I'm going to also give you a really cool pro tip at the end of this video. Please, if you would, go ahead and click the link below for access to this tab on my Patreon page and you can follow along with the chords. It's all there, nice and clean. Let's dive in. Okay, so the overall strum pattern for this song is pretty similar to the one in Comfortably Numb. In fact, you can pretty much do that same one, link uh, right here. It's gonna go down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Another rhythm that you might see me doing is gonna be down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. For some reason with this song, I prefer that one, the second one I just did, but you'll see me mixing that up a little bit throughout this entire piece. But overall, that's pretty much going to be our rhythm for the entire track. Let's talk about essentially the two sections of this entire song. I'm going to teach you those two sections, and then you're going to let you guys just kind of put in the puzzle pieces as you listen and play to the track. The first chord is an E minor add 9, and it's a really cool chord. It really sounds amazing. It's a uh, first finger on the second fret A string. And then it's my pinky. I prefer to put my pinky. You can always put your third finger. I put my pinky on the D string, fourth fret. I'm gonna play those, just those two, and I'm gonna play all six strings from the E string down. How awesome is that? That's an E minor, add nine. For that chord, you can always substitute and just play an E minor. Good old basics, right? Won't sound as cool, but it will get the job done, no problem. Overall, though, I'll be playing an E minor, add 9. Here is what's going on. There's a section that does E minor, add 9, A, a total of four times. I think of that as one total section. Here's what that would sound like. So that overall is the rhythm. Again, you can always substitute the E minor and go to A, and that would be the easiest way to do it, like this. Right? Easy, right? Um, if you want an extra challenge, though, add that E minor, add 9, like this. And then to give it an extra bit of sparkle, what I'll do is a couple of little things. On that E minor, whether I'm playing E minor or E minor, add 9, on that first down strum, the first beat of our rhythm, I'll actually just ping just that E string and it creates some dynamics. I'll do something like this. And maybe I'll do it for the A as well. Right, so it really add a lot of sparkle and dynamics to your playing overall. Now, something else that I'll do is on the A, is I'll do this. I might put my pinky up to the third fret B string. And I'll just do that kind of sporadically. It'll sound like this. Right? And it really doesn't matter where you're doing it, just bringing that up. And you can always play your A like this and just use your pinky here. You can even play your A like this and use your third finger there. To create an A sus4. You can even do this and add in that open B string to give it a sus2 feel. And that's essentially your intro section, and then it's also your verse. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the chorus section now. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the way that I personally like to play it. I'm going to again show you some cool options that are going to be even easier. Here it is. So what that is, is that is a C major 7. Now there's a couple ways of playing a C major 7. The easiest way by far is to play your third finger on 
the A string, second, uh, A string third fret, and then middle finger, your second finger, on the D string second fret. Essentially like a C, but without your first finger. Ooh, nice. That's a C major seven. You're going to catch me and a lot of uh, Pink Floyd enthusiasts doing a G in the bass. It's the same two notes, right? I'm just putting, I'm rearranging my fingers, so I'm playing the note of G here, the E string third fret. And that gives us a nice C major seven over G, which sounds a little bit richer. So you'll see me doing that. You can always simply do a C major seven. It's the easiest way. And then I'll play a B minor seven, and I'll play that here. Um, you can definitely do it here as a bar chord, but the easiest way is to go second finger, A string second fret, third finger, G string second fret, and my fourth finger will play the high E string of the second fret with the open, I'm sorry, open D and open B strings in between. That's the easiest way to play a B minor seven, and I'll do my best to mute that E string. Right? And then when an F major 7 comes around, the easiest way to play that is to put your third finger on the D string 3rd fret, middle finger is on the G string 2nd fret, my first finger is on the B string of the 1st fret, and the open high E is the key to that. You may see some guys play it like this though third finger here on the note of C, the third fret A string. Either one's cool. Easier, a little bit richer, but either one's fine. And then the G, I'll just play a regular G here, it's fine, it's good enough. And then I'll play a D7 sharp 9, and this is where things can get really cool and interesting. This thing. And this is middle finger, my second finger on the fifth fret A string, my first finger on the D string fourth fret, my third finger is on the fifth fret of the G string. And my fourth finger, my pinky, is up here on the sixth fret of my B string. And I'm going to do my best to mute the low and high E. You can see my thumb doing some work. And my pinky, the flesh of my pinky, is kind of touching that high E string. So I'm not getting this. Right? With the E's, it sounds dreadful. So make sure you knock those out. If you played any Hendrix, you've probably already played this shape before. He's known for doing a lot of that. But anyways, you only get that one time, and then you get a D7 flat 9. We had a sharp 9, now it's a flat 9, so that is basically taking my pinky off, and I'm going to use my second finger to flatten out across the D, the G, and the B string here. I'm really trying to just hit the D and the B, though, more than anything, so the G I'll inevitably be fretting back here, but it doesn't matter because my third finger is here on the fifth fret. So that shape is middle finger, second finger on the a string 5th fret, my 1st finger is fretting the D string 4th fret and laying flat like this. My 3rd finger is still here on the G string 5th fret, and now my B string, that's the movement there in, this, in these two chords, that's now 4th fret. My 1st finger is playing both of those. And I'm still trying to mute the low and high E, I'm muting that low E with my middle finger here and the high E is being muted with this finger here. So do your best to mute those because it will sound a little off if you're not. And then you'll end back here. E minor add 9. Or E minor. Okay, so overall, here's the chorus. It's down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. B minor 7, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. F major 7, down. And this is where things break up a little bit. It goes G, it goes down, 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 up, down, down, and then you're going to strum that E minor at 9 just one time. So that last bit is... So thank you so much, you guys, whoever is sticking around to the very end of this video. Here's a special little cool secret that I promised, and it's on the A of our verse. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and play and demonstrate it, and then I'll break it down for you. Pretty 
cool, right? And you'll definitely hear him doing this in the track. So what he's doing is he's playing an A, and he slides up that middle finger to the 4th fret D string. He'll play the 3rd fret B string. And then, in fact, just get that going. Right? Just practice that. Now what's nice about that is you can be a little bit messy and it's okay. You can strum other strings while you do that. But he'll also go up another to the 5th fret D and with his 3rd finger play the 5th fret B. I'll do this. So fit that in, I'm going down, 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 up, slide it, down, up, down, up, down, up, and that's going to really be a nice upgrade to that particular section. Thanks again for sticking around to the end. Thank you so much you guys for tuning in. Please stick around and watch another video. Go to my website, McCormickGuitarLessons.com. Tons of products, tons of free videos on that website. And then also, please become a Patreon member. Support me. It would really help me a lot to keep making more videos for you guys, upgrading my equipment, all that stuff. And of course, like, subscribe, share, all that. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.